What in the goddamn fuck? Jesus freaking Christmas, that was one heck of an intro. Wow, that got me interested. <laughs> but, unfortunately for me, I still have no intro to provide for you guys. But, I what I do have is two hours of my life to play this game. I was looking at the uh, Steam reviews. <clears throat> I didn't read them, but I wanted to see how long it took people to play. And most of it said two hours, so... <clears throat> I'm gonna assume this game will take about two hours, and... It's only like 11.21 a.m. I have plenty of time. Plenty of time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, <clears throat> we're gonna use two hours of our beautiful Forsaken lives and play this <laughs> beautiful Forsaken game, it seems like. Let's um, go in with the name issue. Because that was literally my nickname in high school. <clears throat> oh my lord, Jesus Christ, it's biscuits and drumsticks, man! Oh lord, I love me some biscuits! Oh. Is that BTS in the top left? <laughs> okay. I see, I see that I'm kind of that kind of guy. Okay. <clears throat> no offense to BTS fans. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your mo of your of your modest student apartment. Oh, I'm a student. Okay. The world is peaceful and serene. True that. You could stay in the moment forever, or you could wake up. Now, now, now! Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh, is it not gonna stop? That doesn't seem like it, okay. <laughs> well. Alright, what can we do here? Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. <laughs> or smack the clock up at him. Um, you know, I want to stay in bed forever, fuck you. <clears throat> you slept through the school year and gave up on the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Well, fuck me! Okay! Um... <laughs> game over already? You might not be cut out for the... Uh, maybe the game is trying to tell me something here. Fuck. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should just end this let's play right here and now. I, th I think that I, th I think I think that was a that's a good idea. But it was nice to play with you guys, and I ho hope to see you soon. Still have no outro. Gotcha. You got prank, bro. We're still playing. Take a sip of that water. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Um, and not um, miss an opportunity to meet the great and legendary Kentucky man known as Colonel Sanders. Uh, you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow. Through okay, we already read that. We already read that. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> smack the clock up, Adam. Let's do that. I wonder what happens. What would happen if I said give up? You know, maybe it's best not to know. We'll save that for another day. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Lying in your bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at that prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Oh yeah, so are we like a culinary student? Interesting. I haven't seen a visual novel do that before. Or like an anime story where you're in a school. Okay, I like it. <clears throat> your mind begins to wander. Hey, the game read my mind. My, my mind was literally wandering right there. Who will you? Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. Um. <laughs> you'll need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to danger a bit, thinking about the future. That's more like me, so I'm doing that one. It's here, finally, <laughs> your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare. So it is culinary school, I was right. So many so many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Delicious, just when you need to wake up those taste buds. God damn, I gotta activate those taste buds to ensure that I can do the taste test of Gordon Ramsay's delicious food. <laughs> that would be the plot twist of the century. Gordon Ramsay just comes in out of nowhere. Through the visual novel. I, I would freaking love that, dude. 
Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm the worst kind of guy to not wear deodorant. I'm from, um, South Asia, and I can tell you that we need deodorant. <laughs> no, I, 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 as, a, as a fellow South Asian, we need deodorant. That is the last thing you want to do as a South Asian. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Miriam Dictionary? Oh, damn, we're friends with a dictionary! No is a person, damn! She's the most adorable, awkward person you've ever met. And you absolutely love her for it. I bet I do. G g good morning, Ishi. Are you excited for the first day, uh, rest of your life? Uh could English give me a sick? Oh, great. Let me do redo that. Let me redo that. G good morning, Ishi. Are you excited for the first uh, day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I am. <laughs> because I sure am. I excited a little, uh, uh excited, a, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot's nervous. W what the? What's the? It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Oh, she's crying. That's that's that, that's sad. I, that's sad. I, she, seems, she seems like the emotional type, the very eccentric emotional type. <clears throat> Classic Miriam, raised by the Master Chef parents. Is it Gordon Ramsay? She's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies, playing together, and you rescued me from the quicksand box. <clears throat> it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. Gonna do great. <laughs> but with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous 3D, 3, uh, three day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. I can tell she does! This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Yeah, she's crazy. I like her. That's all I gotta say, I'm sorry. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Um, <clears throat> she's already stressed, I'm not gonna stress her more, let's just change the subject. <sighs> I like this game so far. <laughs> I like the cat, I like Miriam so far. She looks cute. It's hard to see Miriam like this, and frankly quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the subject to something more interesting. It better not be me, because I'm not interesting. Self-deprecation humor. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at the school. Is it Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> Wait, no, Gordon Ramsay's a freaking chef. Is, is it Colonel Sanders? Is that the student? <clears throat> yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now, what about this mystery student we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? I get this, I heard his name is Harley, and, and he's no ordinary student. Th th they say he has powers. He had them ever since he was born from an egg. So that how, is that how humans are made? From eggs? Do, do, are humans laid? Is, is that how it works? You know, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. An egg like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. Well, that's not me. I, I, I looked at her crying. I, I thought I thought she was talking. Okay, um, an egg? Like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> but that thing about it... Why? I, I, I don't have a southern accent, I promise you. But that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like, I, I heard he once fought a bear with j just a smile? You both sigh, thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. I mean, if, if if the laws of physics don't apply to a person, that man or woman has more free will than any person that will ever live in this planet. 100%. <clears throat> Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when somebody smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hand. What a fucking bitch. And onto the crowd. <laughs> hey! Holy shit, she's hot as fuck. <laughs> it's Ashley. 
I change it. I take that back. <laughs> I take that back. With that name, hell no. I'm sorry. No, no offense to anybody who has a name spelled out like that. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil. All right, I take it back. She's hot as fuck again. I like evil women. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Ah, so she's that kind of woman. Okay. Or <clears throat> hello, hello, Ashley. Like, oh, like Ashley. Oh, like Ashley. I get it. Okay, like, okay, that, that's that, that that's clever. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. What a bitch. You leave Ishi Sheens alone. They are perfectly normal Sheens. <sighs> you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. See, I was thinking that too. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. So, dude, I am psychic. But she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. What a f so she's a narcissist? Is that what you're telling me? Dude, why are her thighs so fucking big? Okay, that, that, that tongue thing, though, is cute. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> if anyone here knows what perfect sheens look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Man, the Man Man. Is that the Chad I saw in the intro? <clears throat> Was he in the intro? I, I know, I know, I, saw, I know there's a Chad guy. Um, Van Van the Man Man has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. Another narcissist. Excuse me one sec. Excuse me. Oh, fuck. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm not dying. <laughs> at least not yet. Ugh. His pants are so tight. <laughs> you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Well, you didn't skip leg day. And Van Van! Oh, she's a yandere. That's hot as fuck. Uh, you rang rang. <laughs> How does this shirt work? Is, is that an, Okay, I thought that was an overall. What What is the purpose of that shirt? What, what is he protecting? What is he keeping the heat from? Like, how, how is he feel, feeling... Why am I overthinking this? <clears throat> you know... <laughs> You've never been so sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been as close as you and Maria. But substantially more devious. <clears throat> Hot. I can't believe that University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think we just hand out our diplomas now? What a narcissist. Or maybe hire us as a professor. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. <laughs> Looks like a freaking JoJo character. <laughs> Somebody had to say it, I'm sorry. With the first day of school about to start, it's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. <clears throat> Let's go, Miriam. <laughs> see you later, losers. <laughs> as you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Is that Teru Teru Hanamura from the hit game Ace Attorney? <laughs> Oopsie. Disgusting, okay. I, I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you? Top tier social interactions from Pa. My, na my name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Can someone, like, this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name technically says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh, so he's a dumbass. Okay. Hi, Pop. I'm Ishii. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? <laughs> I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. <laughs> Her standards in men are a little low if he, if he has a crush on him. I'm sorry. No offense.